that Mr. Beast, he's a right old monster, he is. Oh, I see it with me own eyes. He's a right old monster. Oh, that's right. The hits with Mr. Beast just keep coming. It is fascinating that when you set yourself up for success with children, people will tear you down, tear the walls down. That's right, Mr. Beast. The, the, it's just fascinating because new stuff happens all the time. And I'm going to take it direct from the source because I sat through 50 minutes of insane people ranting about Mr. Beast to bring you the latest updates. And now I don't have every update. I'm just kind of following this from afar because I think I've seen all of one Mr. Beast video, which I found to be kind of disappointing. It was the Squid Game one, which was very cool in concept, uh, but flawed in execution because, I don't know, it was just weird. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, but... I, for one, am extremely comforted by the fact that Mr. Beast is examining company culture. Sensitivity training will be implemented. Maybe he'll get some DEI hires. Who knows? That would be exciting as well because he needs to he, he needs to destroy his toxic culture of toxic masculinity. That's what I suspect is going on here. I don't know about you guys, but it's clearly... This man is so masculine and so toxic. And his friend, that Ava person, so toxically male. I mean, whatever. <laughs> the embattled Mr. Beast Company is investigating the internal culture of its YouTube empire. Which is the best, by the way. YouTube is the greatest thing ever made, ever. Um, and, but Mr. Beast, not the greatest thing ever. Allegations of inappropriate behavior by people in the company. His real name is Jimmy Donaldson. You may know him from such thing as disgusting burgers and toy lines that seem like they would harm children if it was swallowed. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't help taking shots. Um, and having way too much association with children's. Nobody needs to be that associated with children. You don't, you, nobody. Not even parents need to be disassociated with children. <laughs> but Team Beast memos. <laughs> I don't know. This whole thing is ridiculous. Um, <laughs> but there's been some new new bombs dropped. If you remember, there was a guy. Well, first, let me read what he says. Apparently, this is direct from Mr. Beast. As your leader, I take responsibility. And I am committed to to continue to improve and evolve my leadership style. I recognize that I also need to create a culture that makes all of our employees feel safe and allows them to do their best at work. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and, and the funny thing is, is I don't think that this has actually hit his channel other than there's, you know, the YouTube sphere and maybe a little bit of mainstream media kind of hitting on this. But as far as children, they don't seem to care that Mr. Beast is in trouble. I don't think they know Mr. Beast is in trouble because they're all the channels that they watch are set to engages with children, which is not here. By the way, this is uh, I am the man you may know as Z from our reviews will kill you. And if you've been listening this long, perhaps you would consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it because it does go a long way, as I'm sure you've heard in every video you've ever watched, ever. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to flip over. This is from Dog Pack 404 the former employee of uh, Mr. Beast. And I watched this entire 50-minute and 38-second video so that I could bring you one tiny clip as to what is going on. Because this man here, Jake Weddle, who has been on Mr. Beast videos and is a former employee, stand-up comedian, is an emotional disaster as he talks about his time competing in a solitary confinement challenge where they did the original testing on him, where Mr. Beast would only visit him once a day for 30 or what for one hour once a day for 30 days and reshoot much of his video because he was losing his mind. I, 
I don't think people understand how terrible solitary confinement is for human beings. I'm fairly sure there was something called the obliette, which is con widely considered the worst torture you could provide to a human being in the Middle Ages, where they would stick you in a hole that you could only stand up in, and uh, they would feed you, but no one would ever talk to you or visit you. You'd just be stuck in the floor like a uh, plug. So they decided that this would be a great idea. They'd give them an ice cream machine, and they'd give them some fun stuff, but ultimately... Humans are social creatures. They do not like being stuffed alone, but here it is from his own words. Or like, they weren't, they weren't turning the lights off. You know, I asked them, I said, can we like have like nighttime hours? You know, and they said no, because it would fuck up the time-lapse shots. The time-lapse of what, me sleeping? Or me not sleeping? Yeah, I saw in other videos they did a, a like, oh, you're gonna get X, Y, Z hours of sunlight. Oh, great. Why don't know how they figured that one out? I didn't have it. <laughs> You know, I, one of the things was you got to take away your clock, so you didn't know what time it was. Okay, I got no access to sun. I got no access to clock. I don't know, like, the, the, the lights are on me all the time. Why? <laughs> I don't understand. Why does this human being look like this? Why does he have a strength? I would not trust this human being with small children. So if I'm hiring, if I'm at first, I don't, I don't trust Mr. Beast with small children, but I wouldn't trust this man in entertaining small children. He looks like he escaped from the 70s, but I bizarre he's he's got the party in the back. He's he's going all the way back. He's he's in the way back machine. He didn't realize mullets are not funny and his nice little pencil thin mustache is only making me jealous. I wasn't sleeping. I I could not sleep and I I have insomnia problems now. Um, it, but I, I, they might have started there. I had good people looking out for me. <sighs> I had a lot of good people looking out for me saying, this, this, we gotta... He also has a soul patch, by the way. Stop. So I, I um... Which is very, extremely fashionable. I just wanted to turn the lights off. And I'm, I'm vocalizing to people. I wish the lights would turn off. And I go up to my friend, my, 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 my good friend. And I go, I go, I go, they're not turning the lights off. He goes, what? That's a war crime. We're not allowed to do that to terrorists. Uh, so apparently, and this is Dog Pack 404. So he interviews his former employee. He did his own expose, and now he's, I worked for Mr. Beast. He's a, psych, a sociopath. And here's what it says. It says, yes, the United Nations considers sleep deprivation a form of torture and war crime under the Geneva Convention and the UN Torture Convention. The UN defines torture as any physical or mental pain or suffering and sleep deprivation that can cause serious harm and mental harm. It also prohibits inter international law as cruel, inhumane, as degrading treatment of peoples or something. Detainees. Oh, oh good. <laughs> 24 hours breaking the Geneva Convention, I guess, is what we're doing. Um, so, you know, they either they're giving me you know, melatonin, you know, it's not helping, you know, and then, and then Jimmy would come in like every other day for like an hour, you know, to check in on me because he's doing other stuff. You know, I'm just the, the guy in the cage over here. He'll come back to me in a minute. Uh, and so he'd come by, he'd get the shots, he'd leave. Uh, sometimes he'd have a note with the director over the phone that would really piss me off. This is the note I got from the director from Jimmy uh, when I'm receiving some cash. Uh, he said, uh, Jimmy said, uh, can you say to the camera how thankful you are that now you can pay back your student loans? <laughs> so apparently this really triggered that guy. So, uh, there's a lot going on. And, uh, I, for one, believe that Mr. Beast will come throughout this squeaky clean because that's the way the world works, folks. There is zero accountability for anything that anyone ever does. And it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. These are not the Mr. Beasts you're looking for. This guy, the interesting thing about Dog Pack, I, he must really hate Mr. Beast. He's this video in particular is at 7.7 .7 million views. It is also not monetized. So he is trying to show people that he is not making money off of this. And he claims that Mr. Beast's people 
We're reaching out to him, trying to stop him from rele releasing part two, and he claims he is a part three. The final revelation in this, which is very strange because I think Jake Weddle is, is I don't know if he's ratting on himself, but apparently there was a lot of people who were registered for things uh, and seem to be big fans of people who play on playgrounds who worked for Mr. Beast. And Mr. Beast was aware of it, and, you know, this guy was aware of everybody is aware of it and nobody seemed to do anything i it's very difficult to trust people in children's entertainment i guess is the moral of the story i don't know let me know what you guys think what do you people think do you think that mr beast is the evil that we have all seen is he a good guy because he builds wells or is he just what we all think he is which is a narcissistic self-interested person who is using his platform to make money but also wants to make himself feel better is he full of that who white guilt that we all talk about where he is trying to be a savior of the peoples of africa's what is he trying to do what is he trying to accomplish let me know what you think in the comments below in the meantime catch our full-length podcast we live stream it here on youtube 7 30 p.m eastern standard time we're also on rumble we are also on itunes sometimes but come join the channel join the community it's a lot of fun all we do is make fun of everything as it burns down and enjoy all of it i for one can't wait to buy myself a mr beast burger and uh he's a monster sir he's a monster can i have another i'm on to the next one